Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Jonathan and this is my partner, Talissa. We bring you to today another episode of Boring Dance Tutorials. This time we're gonna be focusing on feet. Now, a lot of people would argue that the feet are the most important part of the body when it comes to ballroom dancing. And we haven't yet made a video on using your feet and footwork. So we're gonna start off today talking about uh, not necessarily the footwork, but how to use your feet to be to enhance your dancing. So the first thing you learn as a beginner is essentially the steps, where to, which foot goes in front of which foot or behind which foot and uh, the placement in the room. So that's a very, very important aspect. But as you develop your dancing from a beginner into a more in intermediate dancer and then to move on to an advanced uh, or professional dancer, you need to learn how to use the feet in a way that the transitions between figures are smooth and beautiful. Yeah, so your the steps that you do to make up the natural turn, for example, or any step in your routine, are when you learn them, they are separated. So you learn step one is this, and step two is this, um, and this is important, but we need to link you need to be able to link these steps together very, very smoothly. So basically, we're gonna run you through a few exercises that we've done over the years and still sometimes continue to do every now and again that help us to use our feet better so that we can move more smoothly, not just in one step, but across a number of steps uh, sequentially. It's really important to note that this exercise is uh, essentially made for our swing dancers. Uh, we're not going to be picking up our feet like we do in tango. I think that's a little bit different. We're going to be focusing on uh, the footwork and the transitions that are going to help us in those swing dances. We're now going to jump right into the exercises. I'm going to start with demonstrating the exercise that we'll be doing. So you'll be starting in a neutral position with the feet. Then all we're going to do is simply move. Um, I will start with our right foot, move our right foot forward into what would be a heel lead. We're then going to drag it back to that closed position. This is the very, very simple exercise that we're going to do that's going to help us with the transition between footwork. Now, the important thing here is that I'm clearly doing a step that has a heel lead. I'm moving into a step with a heel lead. And what I, I don't want to do is make my heel lead too early. So what I'm focusing on is where that transition point is. And that is the most important thing about this exercise. I am executing my heel lead. So my toe is releasing from the floor at the point where my heel is just past my toe. Can you see that? So that's the point and then we continue the heel across the floor from there. Now similarly we want to execute our backwards action in the same way. So if we're moving backwards we're going to be dragging our heel um, in, in most of our steps. So if I start in this position where my toe is off the floor and I'm dragging my heel back, I want to make sure that my toes, my toe, ball of foot and then toes touch the floor at that exact same transition point where the heel is just in front of that standing leg. So again, I'll demonstrate, I'm in this position and as I'm moving, my ball and then toes are completely on the floor as my foot is just in front of my standing foot. So to make things simple and to run through that little exercise again, we're going to combine the two. We're going to start in a neutral position. We move forwards with the heel, then transition back dragging the heel. Forwards, heel lead, drag back, drop the toe. We'll just quickly do that on the other side, on our left side. Same thing from our toe to a heel lead. We move back and we transition to a flat foot. We move forward for a heel lead, we transition 
back, dragging our heel. Now let's move on to Jonathan, who's going to demonstrate it, this exercise in a more extended, practical way. So Tilsa has just walked you through the first thing that you need to know about the transition point between when does the heel become a toe and when does the toe become a heel. Now what I'm going to do in this exercise is basically just an extension on what Tilsa has just said, which really relates back to what we were talking about at the start of the video, how we transition between steps to make a continuous movement. So Tilsa started with her feet together and she discussed how she went forwards to the transition point and how that became a heel. Now, I'm going to start from a different point. I'm going to start as if I've just taken a forward step onto my left foot and my right foot is behind my body. So now what I need to do, I'm just going to roll up my pants, is I'm going to show you how I drag my foot from behind my body, underneath my body, and you can notice that my heel is still lifted off the floor. Now I move to the transition point and then transition to the heel. So I'm the what we don't want to do, what Talissa already discussed with us, is that I don't want to make the transition point too early when my feet are passing. I want to come to exactly the same point, transition point that Talissa mentioned before. Also, another thing to point out is that we don't want to, or there's no need to, really to exaggerate your toe coming off the floor. So that angle is, would be way too exaggerated, and it's going to actually have some negative uh, implications for when we try to take the step. So what we really want to try to do is have a, a natural angle in the ankle joint so that we're not trying to show the bottom of our shoe too much. So again, I'm going to start from that foot behind my body. I'm going to drag that to the transition point. Now it's a flat foot before it becomes a heel. So this should show you how important the foot action is to create very smooth movement across the steps. We hope you enjoyed watching these exercises and we hope that you joined along with us. Um, it would be great for you to implement these exercises into your daily practice, especially now if you're at home a lot, this is a really good time to improve your footwork and your feet action. As a lady dancer, uh, you'll notice that I demonstrated in my teaching shoes just so that it was very easy and clear for you to see. But I would recommend that um, all of the, the females wear their heels when practicing this particular exercise. It's, I think it's a little more difficult to uh, transition from a heel to uh, an extended heel to a ball of foot as a lady. So it does take some practice and it's a slightly different skill in teaching shoes as it is in our proper ballroom shoes. So please do wear your shoes when practicing this step. Thanks for watching this video, guys. We hope it helped you with your footwork. Uh, we look forward to seeing you in the next video.